the knowledge of herbs and herb law, very highly respected within communities and societies. Begin to learn the craft by looking at just a few herbs, such as basil, rosemary, mint. Sage is another one that is an all-rounder and a crucial herb. However, I will add the caveat with regards to sage. Be careful of some of these herbs, and in particular the sage, because it is a uterine stimulant. In other words, if you're pregnant, please do not use sage in any format whatsoever. It can trigger uh, an early birth or possibly even a miscarriage. So please do not use sage. Many herbs are safe to use but you just need to doubly check. Many herbs are positive and have healing properties although there are some that you only use as in an oil or in a potion that you've made such as monk's hood. You never, <laughs> you never digest monk's hood. Uh, absolutely not. If it's good for a balm and using it as an oil, lovely, releases the tension in the muscles. It's one of those wonderful oils that you can use as a massage oil, combined with a carrier oil if you're using essential oil, but otherwise non-digestible, highly poisonous. Some herbs are extremely poisonous. Some herbs in very small doses, such as digitalis, is used in heart pills now. Digitalis, of course, is foxglove. So we do not take that. And of course, aspirin. Aspirin is made from the bark of the willow tree. Very healthy for us in very small doses. Brilliant. People are now prescribing it and taking at least 75G dispersible aspirin every day and the health benefits is being discovered nearly every month. There's a section in the newspaper about the herbs and it's in particular aspirin how well it is. Thank you. See you soon.